trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Well, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got another great interview coming up for you in just a couple moments here. But before we get into that, uh, do feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the bell, and you're always going to get uh, the latest interviews whenever available. And uh, maybe you can leave a comment on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you there. And uh, if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV which is our official page. You can uh, like the page, uh, in inbox us on everything you want to see, send us a private message, and we'd love to hear from you there. And if you'd like to email us, it's uh, paulmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And this works if you're a band or a solo artist wanting to be on the show, but we love fan mail as well, so if you're a fan, go ahead and send us an email. And we're going to recap all of this at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Vancouver, Canada, we have Zephyrios. He's a very talented artist, and I think you're really going to like him. And we'll get to that in just a moment, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody, as promised, here's our interview. And today from Vancouver, Canada, we have Zephyrios. Thanks for joining us, Zephyrios. Hi, Paul. How are you? Oh, doing pretty good. I'm glad that you can make it today. Thank um, you. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, the first question I always ask is because everybody has their own story, but tell me a little bit about how it all began for you as far as, as, far as being an artist is concerned. Um, we, we would love to hear it. All right. Well, I've always been into music. My mother was a classical pianist, and uh, I was enrolled in piano lessons without a choice when I was five, and it's one of the best things my mother did for me. So I've always had this passion for music and a wide variety of music. Uh, when I was in high school, I started a joke punk metal band with friends. And then when I was 19, I had a indie punk band called The Indecisives, which we put out our first, uh, we put out an EP on vinyl. And then from that, it's, uh, I took some time off to go to university, but then I was playing in some other bands, but this current project, Zephyrio, started about, uh, let's see, seven years ago as a songwriting project with my friend George. We were just wanted to workshop some songs, and then I had these songs, and then I recorded a demo with some friends, and then I decided to put together a live act, so started going with that, and then went into the studio last year and recorded a debut album on two inch tape uh for anyone who's used to recording on computer maybe you do know it's the old school way of recording so you two inch tape onto a deck that goes around and i had some talented rhythm section uh playing on it pat stewart on drums who's played with brian adams and the odds and then mm -hmm. norm fisher who's also played with brian adams and then um some Canadian artists like Burton Cummings and Randy Bachman and those guys recorded their parts for my songs as well as me on rhythm guitar at the same time which is a bit unusual in this day and age because everybody seems not everybody but most people seem to track on a computer during their parts separately and record onto a grid and cutting out any mistakes but those guys such incredible musicians they just recorded on to tape and i had a solid solid foundation of it and uh so that's why it has a very warm feeling to it like uh, you know rock and roll records do where it's just you have guys playing in a room and feeding off each other's energy so yeah so the album is now recorded i just released the debut single dream away and did a video for that which uh i have the promo and uh yeah so i'm looking soon at releasing the album and then i'm playing a show next week of just doing the songs solo acoustically and i will be doing shows with the full band but i'm splitting this show doing the songs acoustically and then the second half with this 
tribute act I'm doing with some friends playing the songs that the Beatles played in Hamburg, like uh, Chuck Berry, um, Coasters, uh, Little Richards. So yeah, so that's my musical journey so far. Okay, yeah, that, that is quite a story there, uh, Zafirio. So uh, glad you shared that with us. Um, why, don't, why don't you talk about, now you probably already mentioned it, but tell us a little bit about the influences that you grew up with that uh, helped motivate you to become the artist you are today. Okay, that's a really good question. Uh, I, well, obviously from my mother having a classical background, listening to her play classical music. Uh, my dad, uh, because he's from Greece, had a lot of Greek folk music playing around the house, but he also introduced me to the first wave of rock and roll, like Little Richard. So mm -hmm. I grew up hearing that. And then I was also exposed to some doo-wop. And then when I was really getting into guitar, my guitar, the guys at high school were really into guitar, were into metal shredders, but I just have a just curiosity for time traveling musically. So I went back to guitarists from the 50s, like Cliff Gallup, who played with Gene Vincent, and then Scotty Moore, who played on those great Elvis Sun records. And then later in high school, I had a good friend who introduced me to punk music, like the Ramones, and that that was a big one. And, you know, listening to them, I heard, well, I hear this 50s and classic 60s influence in it, even though it's hard, heavy guitars. So I got into that and then a lot, I love a lot of funk music like Parliament Funkadelic and Stevie Wonder. And then some of the shoegaze bands like My Bloody Valentine. But, and I mean, I love a lot of blues music too, like Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters. And then, yeah, I love a lot of tracks that were cut in, uh, the Fame Studios in your state, Alabama, Mus at Muscle Shoals. Just, I mean, so much great music has come out that part of the world. Yeah, exactly. And as you mentioned, Little Richard, I mean, he's always going to be a legend. So um, I think I can understand why you picked him. And um, all those other bands, obviously, are legends, too. Um, but uh, uh, let me ask you something. Let's pretend someone's watching this right now and they want to know how to listen to your music. How would they go about doing that? Is it all streaming platforms? Do you have physical copies of CDs, for example? Uh, let us know. It's on Bandcamp. So go to Bandcamp and you'll see Zephyrios and you'll Z-A-F-I-R-I-O-S and you'll see the debut single Dream Away. Mm -hmm. So you can have a listen to that. And if you like it, you can purchase it and uh pretty soon i'll have the rest of the album up on Bandcamp. Okay. oh uh, uh sorry another influence i wanted to throw in huge influence for me is leonard cohen i love his songwriting and lyrics yes yes uh i, I think he passed away like a year or so ago i do believe if i'm not mistaken um uh, i think 2000 16 i think that is the same year yeah it, it was in the last few years i know um um i know everybody liked his music especially the one he did uh, hallelujah i know a lot of people love that song that he did um yes um and i guess that dream away song you were just talking about now is that the music video we'll be watching in just a moment here <laughs> yes it will be Okay, well, tell us a little story about that song. It, it, it's a great song, by the way, and I'm sure everybody else will enjoy it, too. Uh, is there a story behind that, or is it pretty much self-explanatory? Uh, let us know. Well, it's the easiest song I think I've written. I mean, I was just at my girlfriend's place, and she was making dinner, and I had my Spanish nylon string guitar, and it just came out. I didn't think about it. I mean, other songs I've worked laboriously over, so that came out effortlessly and then the music and then for the lyrics I have a notebook of lyrical ideas so I had one idea which was born in fire nursed by rain and it was sitting there and I looked back at it when I needed lyrics before I was going into the studio and I thought okay that fits that's a good opening line and uh, I was reading a book on mythology by Edith Hamilton. And so some of the influences were inspired 
by that, you know, about the changing seasons, looking back at the summer from in cold weather and the songs, the album's called Summer Sand. So I thought that would be a good coda and Dream Away is the last song on the album Summer Sand. So it's the finale to the summer. And then just before I went into the studio, it was going to be called A Breath Away. And I was demoing it at my friend's home studio and he asked me what the song was called so I said a breath away and I guess obviously he didn't listen to me and he wrote down dream away and then when he got it onto his computer and showed it to me the file I said no it's a breath away and I thought wait hold on this is one of those instances where the mistake is the solution it's better than the original idea so I changed the title of it on the spot well as i said it is a great song and i, I think you really thank have you. a winner on your hands with that so thank you and uh we're going to be uh watching that of course as i said in a moment but uh, i think that's all the time we have for right now is that very else uh thank you so much for coming by uh we'd love to have you back again sometime if you ever want to come back well i'd love to thank you for having me great great questions paul yeah well uh, i appreciate that and uh, let's go uh, watch Dream Away by Zephyrios right here on Paul Nash TV. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Sipped your tea in 